The Baltimore Ravens defeated the Cincinnati Bengals Sunday in epic fashion in overtime, 41-38. This game was full of highs and lows, ups and downs, good and bad by both teams. But there's this one individual that wears number eight that was totally amazing. When he first came in the league, there was this narrative that, hey, he can't throw, that, you know, he's he's on a running quarterback. Some even wanted him to change positions. That narrative couldn't be further from completely obliterated by now. He outdoed Joe Burrow, who had a pretty good day in his own right, threw for five touchdowns, and made everybody notice that he is one of one. Let's talk about some of his accolades before I get into the tape, and we're going to look at you know some of his better throws from Sunday. He was 26 for 42 with 348 yards, four touchdowns, 119.9 passer rating. Completion percentage, 61.9. He had a plus 17.9 EPA. Pass EPA, that is. He had 3.31 seconds time to throw. So that's not necessarily a testament to him, but that's a testament to the O-line. That's his best time to throw all season long. He was blitzed 42.6% of the time. Uh, they ran play action 29.8% of the time, which helped with separation. And, you know, speaking of separation, the receivers had 4.4 yards average of separation. And to top it all off, he was 10 for 15 on his intermediate routes. That's um, anywhere from 10 to 19 yards. And with, with that being said, he had 174 yards and a touchdown in those intermediate areas. Lamar Jackson has completely obliterated the narrative that he can't throw and that he can't win different types of games because he just straight won a shootout in epic fashion. Let's take a look at some of his best throws from that film. I'm Coach Evans. Welcome back to Sips and Tyler Films. Snap it. All right, let's get started with the film session. But if you are new here, like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so so you can be here when the rest of this film sessions drop throughout the 2024 season. But let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So this first play is out of 22 personnel. You see Ricard going in motion, and we got two tight ends, two backs. Gary Cameron, Pat Ricard, two backs, tight end uh, Kolar, and Likely. Even though likely he's kind of in a split. But what you get is, look at the play action. Look how, how tight those linebackers are because of the play action. How much they've gotten to the line of scrimmage. Look at the space that's created because of the play action. And you just read the triangle. Just read the triangle. Because he obviously, he can go to likely if you wanted to. But a great route by um, Zay Flowers. Great timing route by Zay Flowers. A 20 yard, 20 yard out. And because of you know the great play action. It gives him time to get down the field and run that 20-yard out. Turn the DB around. Lamar, the ball's out already. The ball's out on his break. Mm. But enough time for him to even try to, you know, get a little yak out of it. But the play action did a great job of just creating spaces or creating space for them to be able to make easy throws. That's one of the reasons why the um, average separation is so big because they have to respect the play action. They have to. And they did a good job of trying to slow down Henry, you know, and for the most part, they did kind of slow him down up until that very last run, but they committed to the run. And so those open spaces behind linebackers were open most of the day. All right. Now on this next one, you got what I would call gun right bunch. And normally when you have a bunch situation like this, defenses try to jam the point man and then they'll try to banjo the two back men. So that's what I'm assuming Cincinnati's trying to do. But watch how Zay Flowers avoids this jam. And he's instantaneously wide open. He tries to jam right off right off the bat. He's open already. Got the guy in trail position. And Lamar fires a strike. I mean a strike. He doesn't have to slow down. Doesn't have to break stride. So much to the fact that you know he go into his little juke moves that he, he loves so much. Make a miss. Make that guy miss. And, then make, and the, the guy that he beat off the line finally gets him down. But watch this throw by eight. And I, I, I should have said this before, but 
another theme of this video is watch the different kind of throws that Lamar has. Like that first video, that first um, example was a timing throw to Zay. Watch this this bullet that he throws. You know, in stride, straight drop back, sees it, throws a dart, a dart. And like I said, Zay catches it in stride, doesn't have to break down, doesn't have to lose a step, keeps the separation that he earned off the ball. And does what he needs to do because of a great throw. All right, this next one is 22 personnel again, but technically it's 13 personnel because of where they got record lined up. You get Zay coming in motion, and you're really just going to get four verts versus cover three. You see the Bengals sinking into that cover three. Ricard kind of running like an out and up, but it's still four verts. Charlie Kolar going to hit that seam, and Lamar is going to get over that linebacker, but before that safety can flip his hips and get over there. Perfect. Perfect throw. Just a feather throw. Again, different types of throws. You got a time and throw the first one. You got a bullet that second one, and just a feather throw over the defense. Dropped it right in the bucket. Again, Kolar didn't have to break stride either. Great accuracy. On the throws. Great accuracy. From the back view. Kolar just going to ease, ease off the line. And really, you know, the defense, uh, whoever the free safety was, maybe it was Geno Stone, but because you got likely going to the other side and another receiver, they focused their attention to that side because on the back side, you got Charlie Kolar and Ricard. Nobody really cares about them guys catching the ball down the field. Well, just when you thought you didn't care, Look at Geno Stone. Geno Stone should be square. And he's not. Lamar not even looking to the other side. And Geno Stone is still favoring the side Isaiah Likely's on. Lamar, Lamar's head is for Kolar the whole time. And because Geno Stone didn't respect Charlie Kolar, 55 yard gain led to a touchdown. On this next one, we get something that we're used to seeing a lot of a deep over route. To Mark Andrews. Now we hadn't seen a lot of Mark Andrews this season, but this is a classic. This is what we get out of Mark all the time. You see Cincinnati try to undercut this deep over route. They're in man. They're gonna try to undercut it. But watch Lamar get this ball up and over where they can't get to it. In man coverage. They try to undercut it, try to, you know, make it a difficult throw. He drops it in the bucket. Perfectly to Mark. Another different kind of throw. This is with Arc and it turned over and dropped right in the bucket. Right in the bucket for a, a nice game to Mark. And that's that's the first time Martin caught a ball in, in a while. In a while. But it was big. It was big. He got They got all the tight ends involved yesterday. This was a huge, huge throw. And you see right here Lamar checking to it. Get you back in there for protection. And Mark wins off the line versus 27. Akeem got the Davis tried to undercut it. But look at the touch. Look at the touch, up and over. Neither one of them had a chance. And I know 59 kind of fell off, but 27 didn't have a chance either because of the accuracy of the throw by Lamar. Chetting, this, this man put on a clinic yesterday, a clinic. And for those that are still saying he can't do it with his arm, you're just, you're just stupid. All right, this one right here, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't much to say on this, but we just going to watch greatness be great. We just we're gonna watch greatness be great. There's a whole lot of things happening on this. You got likely in motion. He drops the fumble. Don't panic. Picks it back up. And for the the most part, that left side of the line is holding up. You see Roger Rosengarden losing on the right side, and that's the guy that's gonna be a threat to Lamar. Bam. Still for him. Okay. You know, kinda got him off, but didn't kinda he still, you know, he's still coming. Second steal for him. Get your lip but away from me. Now look who is that back in the back in the end zone. Always throwing his hand up on the ball. Always throwing his hand up on the ball. Well this time, sir, he gonna go get it. Lamar throws across his body to him. He makes a great play. A great play. And gets up looking at Geno Stone like, yeah, I used to do that to you in practice. Let's get back to the end of it. Watch this stare on Geno Stone. Remember I used to do that to you in practice? All the time? Don't try to look off now, little boy. Remember. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Let's see if we can see it on the back end, too. Oh, they didn't show it. But we will show you this, though. This guy right here. Hold on. Watch this, watch this young fella right here. When he realizes that ball is caught. 
He's the same guy that got stiff on. <laughs> hey, when when you play against greatness and he put you on highlight tape, all you can do, my friend, you, I know he ain't praying, but that's all you can do is pray. And then we're going to end with the, again, I talked about accuracy earlier too. This is a, a pass to um Tylen Wallace. It's two by two and they're playing cover four and Wallace is running a big curl. Look at the accuracy by Lamar. Lamar is going to lead him to the inside, which is away, away from this fella. That's, you know, could potentially go knock it out or hit him in the back. But it's going to lead him so much to where he can actually try to get some yards after the catch. And and this view is okay, but it's going to look even better on the back view. He, he lets his momentum take him right into it. And he gets a, another four or five yards out of it. And Tyler's fighting for every inch, which I love that about, about Tyler. He finally got the opportunity to play some receiver and not just be like a gunner or some stuff like that. And even though he had the one mistake by not catching the punt, didn't let it get him down. See him at the top of your screen right there? He the very top left corner of your screen, settling down in that curl. Lamar, Lamar can see the defenders behind him, so Lamar leads him inside, away from those guys, and gives him an opportunity to run out to the catch. Again, if you don't think eight can make every throw in the book, and do win every kind of game, you're just a certified hater. Lamar Jackson had an amazing day, led the uh, Ravens to an amazing comeback, um, and it was absolutely one of the best games I've ever seen in my life. My emotions were all over the place. I was spent after the game. Even on my rewatch today, I was kind of spent again watching it, but I'm so happy that eight plays for us and nobody else because we have a guy that's one of one, and I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, so like the video if you have not done so. Hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos come out. And remember, remember the motto. It's FTMF. It's film, then more film. And we're just going to end on this greatness and let this play out. Then I end the video. Just wow.